Good morning from Westminster, California. We are back at Tiny Rig Cove. And yes, we are gonna be working on the Toyota Land Cruiser. We're gonna be doing the first official install on this Toyota. And that is gonna be the Old Man Emu suspension. Now, if you didn't know, Tiny Rig not only focuses and specializes on campers but they also do installs so suspension installs lighting wiring all that stuff so this is basically your one-stop shop and this is why i keep coming back because not only are they good friends of mine but they do some great quality work so when planning for the land cruiser i knew that you know in the past while building the toyota tacoma you know i i made mistakes i'm just being honest with you um I started installing stuff like racks, you know, rooftop tents and light bars and, and all this all this stuff that in reality, I mean, it, it made my experience at camp, you know, a lot better, but I did not build it from the ground up, meaning eventually my leaf spring started sagging, eventually my suspension was giving out or just bottom, bottoming out. And uh, with the Land Cruiser, I wanted to do the opposite and basically apply everything that I've learned. So no accessories no bumpers nothing that was not and is not on my mind at the moment um the goal is to build this land cruiser from the ground up and uh one of the first things that you can ever do especially if you do plan on adding weight bumpers accessories light bars whatever it is is to install a suspension that can actually carry all that weight that you're going to be putting on so that is what we're going to be doing today. I'm excited and I hope you are too. Look at that thing. That thing's pretty sweet. Sir, good morning. Whoa. Oh shit. <laughs> All right, Jordan, so what is going on here? What are we installing? Yeah, dude, so we're doing a Nitro Charger sport kit for you today. It's an ARB um, suspension kit for the 80 series. Um, pretty much it's gonna give you a little bit better ride quality than stock components, and you're gonna get a little bit of height out of it too. But um, yeah, we're uh, putting PB Blaster on everything before we start wrenching, because it's an old truck, so there's a lot of rust, and. You know, don't want to lose any bolts or round anything out. So yeah, just giving it a second to cook and prepping some hardware for you. It looks so weird because of the little tires. I think once we put the 35s, it's gonna look a lot better. Everything all tightened up here. Got all my stuff torqued for you. So real quick recap. Um, we put in the new coils for you. We got new struts in there. There's a new stabilizer that's from ARB as well. Um, everything's torqued to spec. So I even put a couple little indicators on here to let you know if anything's rotating or for service down the road. Um, but yeah, man, I think he gained a little bit of height out of it, totally spaced on getting the measurement beforehand. Um, but yeah, it looks like he gained a little bit in the front, but the rear is sitting really high now. So dig it, man. Stoked to get you outfitted today. Guys, I am so excited to finally get the ball rolling on this Land Cruiser. It's been sitting in my driveway. I've been driving it around town with Dalia. Just, just driving it like a Sunday favorite dad family car and to finally be able to have these guys work on it and bring the vision to life it's gonna be fun guys so definitely stay tuned for what's to come now with the 
with the uh, with the lift installed. Oh my god, it looks funky. So I went with the 2.5 inch lift. Uh, heavier springs, like I said, to be able to accommodate the weight. But you can already see that big old gap. Aye! The fact that we got Jeff in the outro makes it more exciting as well. But uh, as you know, this is a place that I call home. I love bringing all my vehicles here. These guys are good friends of mine, and I love supporting not only the fam, but the small family owned business as well so hit these guys up i'll be putting all their information down below in the description jordan thank you so much again yeah, absolutely and if you guys ever visit these guys tell them all i said hello bye bye